Good morning, we're going to do some testing on the poor man's Poto Performer antenna. Question is being asked, does it make a difference whether it's mounted on a carbon fiber pole or just hung from a tree limb? Does that change the resonant frequency? Does it change the SWR? Does it have any significant impact? Well, I'm gonna set up here today, I've got the tripod set up here behind me, directly underneath the tree limb that I'm gonna to use to support it from a string. So I, I'm not gonna move the, the radials. I'm gonna leave the radials where they are once they're set up. The only, only difference is gonna be whether or not I'm using the carbon fiber pole or using the string from a tree limb to support it. And we'll take some measurements, and do a comparison, and see if we need to make any adjustments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's see how this thing works. Okay, you may have seen this before. I'm going to go ahead and use the carbon fiber fishing pole that you can find in the product list in the description on this video. It's only about $30. 21, 21 foot carbon fiber pole. I'm going to go ahead and unwind the main driven element here. All right, so let's go ahead and get that raised up. Goes up pretty fast. Just pull up at each joint. You give it a little tug to lock it in place and just push it on up. It's very lightweight. Okay, there we go. Got it fully extended, 20 meters, and it's it's also just right right at that limb where we're going to attach later. Here's the BNC breakout from the PL259 adapter to the BNC banana plug breakout there, and I'll go ahead and tie my string here that keeps the the base of the antenna near the pole so that the, when I put tension on this, the el driven element stays pretty vertical. All right, so go ahead and start running out one of the radials. These are the elevated radials. The, these are the uh, secret sauce, so to speak, in, in this antenna. This is what makes this antenna perform so well because it elevates the radials. It, pretty much disconnects it from the natural ground and these become your artificial ground and reflector and gives you up to three to four dB gain in the center between the two radials that are set at 90 degrees. Let's see how close I got to estimating the distance on this pole here. Ah, pretty close, a little too far. All right, so we'll get this pulled out here and get a little tension on it that should be good now we'll get the other radial unwound <clears throat> get that connected here all right go ahead and take this out and need to be about 90 degrees from the other radial that's going to put us about here so let me get the pole there that'll work We've got our common mode choke here. This is homemade. If you'd like to see me build this, put a comment below and I can make a video on how to make this very cheaply. It's very effective. What this does is it isolates the coax that's feeding the antenna from the antenna so that it doesn't radiate so that your pattern is controlled by the radials here and not by the coax going back to wherever your radio is. So I'll go ahead and connect this 
and this uh this coax I already had made up it's about 18 inches it can it can be shorter than that prob preferably probably should be shorter than that but that this will work this is what I've been using okay let's get the coax going back to the radio and the truck set up here and I'm gonna bring this around just kind of hold this in place Those are tight and run the coax back to the radio in the truck, which is just right here. We're not very far today. All right, so let's uh, get the radio. Well, actually, we're not going to use the radio today. We're going to use the uh, Nano VNA to take all the measurements on each of the bands and then we'll compare the two. I'll put it in a chart form so it's easier for you to look at and analyze. Okay, just so you can see the setup here, there's both the radials out there. Here's the tripod. Again, that's an adapted tripod from an old telescope. And there we go up to the top of the antenna. Okay, we're set up for 20 meter band on the poor man's potal performer. This is being supported by the carbon fiber mast and our our lowest SWR here is 1.228 so about uh, 1.2 and it's at 14.220 megahertz. You can see that the uh, ends of it are still rather flat at the low end, it's 1.49. At the high end, it's 1.24. So very good, very flat across the band here at 20 meters. Gonna go out and change it to 17 meters, then we'll remeasure. Okay, I've reconfigured the antenna for 17 meter band. You can see it's 1.272, pretty much all across the entire band. This is a very narrow band, so it's not gonna be a lot of variation but it's pretty much totally flat across the band. We'll reconfigure for 15 meters and come back and see what she looks like. Okay, I reconfigured the antenna for 15 meters. Uh, and if you don't remember how this is done, look back at my first video on the poor man's polar performer. And what I do with the radios is I move the non-conductor link to the uh, 15 meter radial position for each of the two radials and then I also remove a link from the driven element to get it down to 15 meters also. You can see here again it's very flat. The low end here on 15 meters is 1.324, 1.324, the high end is 1.384. Again very flat very usable in the 15 meter band. And this is on the carbon fiber mast. Gonna go out and move the non-conductive jumper to the 12 meter band and re remove the 15 meter element from the antenna to get it down to the 12 meter band. And we'll come back and measure it there. Okay, got the antenna tuned to the 12 meter band right now. You can see again, it's very, very flat all the way across the band at the low frequency there of 24.930, we're reading 1.309 SWR, and it's pretty much flat all the way across again, so that's a very, very good SWR for that band as well. We're going to go down to 10 meters, reconfigure the antenna there, and come back and check it there. Okay, here we are on a 10 meter band. At the low end at 28, we had 1.479. At the high end at 29.7, we had 1.673. You can tell here that at uh, 28,760, we've got 1.289 or 1.29. 
very good curve SWR here on 10 meters. We'll check it at six and then we'll put the antenna into the tree limb, support it from the tree limb, remove the mast and see how much it changes. Okay, here we are at six megahertz. You can see the high SWR at 54 is 2.182. That's still very workable. Most any modern radio with an internal tuner can handle that or more. The low point, it's right around 50.6, 50.57, at uh, 50.57 megahertz. So very, very workable, very tunable, not much activity up there, but I just want to show you that this antenna is capable of doing that. Now I'm going to put the rope and pulley up in the tree and uh, remove the carbon fiber mast and we'll see how much it changes. Okay, I've thrown a line over the tree limb and I've attached my pulley to the line. This allows me to raise and lower the antenna very easily as required to adjust the band that I'm on. This has got just a, a small pulley that you can get from a farm and garden store or online. You can see it in the product list below in the description. You can get it from Amazon for just a couple of bucks if you've got a prime account. Gonna raise that up in the tree and secure it. Then we'll raise our antenna. Now we'll raise the antenna, connect the antenna, get the carabiner from the antenna here. And uh, since we finished on six meters, we'll start on six meters and go from there. Get the radios tight here, reconnect my common mode choke that I got buried here in the leaves. <laughs> we'll get that out of here. All right, let's reconnect that. That'll act as a weight. To keep the radials tight. All right. Pulled on the radio too hard and disconnected one of the bullet connectors. They can take a pretty good bit of stress, but if you jerk them any at all, they have a tendency to come out, and that's what I did. Okay, let's pull the antenna up. And that's about the, the right height there. Get that tied off. And we'll make sure the, the radials are tight here. Okay, I think the way the coax is gonna hold it in place, the radials are about the same height off the ground is when we tested with the tripod and the, and the carbon fiber mast. So we'll get the uh, camera back over here where we can uh, check what the SWR and the resonant frequency is now. Well, as you can see, it did have some impact. Uh, I wouldn't say it was huge, but the resonant frequency, or the lowest SWR, moved from 50.66 or 50.7 to 51.84. It raised it a little bit. The SWR changed from 1.551 on the low side to 1.524, and then at uh, the high frequency of the band at 54 megahertz, it moved from 2.296 down to 1.76. So it improved the SWR on the high end. So there is some reactance with the carbon fiber mast. Let's see if it holds true as we go down in the bands. Okay, here we are on 10 meters. Our low SWR is one 0 0.095, 1.095 or 94 at 28.637.
at 28 megahertz, we're 1.315, and at 29.7, we're at 1.546. So it is affecting it, moving it a little bit, but not significantly, and the SWR dip is generally lower, but uh, not that the other was high. Here we are on 12 meters. It, again, it's very flat. It's the low SWR is 1.215, and the high is 1.25, very flat across the 12 meter band. Okay, here we are at 15 meters. You see very, very good curve. The high is 1.3, the low is 1.142 at 21200, and at the low end of the band, it's 1.269. Very, very flat across 15 meters. Now we'll go on down to 17 meters and check her there. Here we are at 17 meters. This is suspended by a string from a tree limb for the poor man's poto performer. It is flat at approximately 1.2 SWR. So we'll go, go on to 20 meters and then compare it Okay, so here we are back at 20 meters with a low SWR of 1.2 and a high SWR of 1.347. So there is some minor differences between using a, the carbon fiber mast and suspending it from a tree, but I would say they're insignificant and this antenna should work well either way to make it ultra portable just take the elements with you, some string, throw weight, and something to uh, anchor it to. Make sure you always have your common mode choke. Common mode choke is what makes the antenna work using the radials instead of the coax. If you've learned anything, if you liked what you saw, if you'd like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. Any interaction with the channel helps it to be seen by more people. Thanks for watching. This is Kilo Mike 4, Zulu Kilo Bravo. Have a blessed day.